This is my adorable little orange car. And this is my adorable little orange car about to tumble down a very, very large mountain. Yeah. Everybody, I am Kindly Key and welcome to BeamNG. This is a game that I have never played until today. And I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. In case you guys aren't familiar with BeamNG, is basically a vehicle simulator that is very realistic, but also allows you to do stuff like jump this funny looking orange car off of a off of a mountain and watch what happens to it. I mean, it's basically like broken bones, but for cars. And it seems very awesome. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> I, I, uh, you know, I, I really liked this car. Maybe I shouldn't have driven it off of a mountainside, but here we are tumbling down the mountainside. I think it still runs. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I can't believe it still runs. It uh, doesn't run necessarily very well, but I mean, we're still, we still have a, a, a engine that makes noise. We're just gonna tumble our way down this mountain. I think there's a beach at the bottom of it. It'd be really cool if we could land on our four wheels and then drive off into the sunset. Slightly mangled, but okay in the long run, I think. Oh gosh. Okay, we need to slow down. Do I have brakes still? D can I break? I don't know if I can break. I'm trying to break and I think it, it it worked. Oh my goodness. It's it's glorious. Wait, it's kind of ooh, ooh, doesn't doesn't sound great, but it's still alive, which is kind of amazing. Oh no. That that's a steep cliff. No! Please, little orange buggy car, don't die. You made it to the beach. You survived the mountain of doom. We came down from all the way up there. Can we still go? It's kind of having a hard time. Kind of kind of struggling a little bit, which is understandable. Um, th these tires, they're a little mangled. But one of the coolest things about BMNG is that you can just restart. You just go home and everything's totally fine. Also, there are a bazillion cars to pick from. Maybe slightly less than a bazillion, but it's close. And there's some like insane cars in here, like a Lamborghini. Those go real fast. Or, I mean, let's just drive a formula car down a mountain. Sure. What color should we go with? I like the orange one. I think it fits with the theming of my channel. So let's replace our, our little orange buggy car with a formula car. Oh my gosh, this thing is angry. It just, it wants to eat some road. Is that a thing that people say? Probably not. It's so loud. Let's drive it off of a cliff, shall we? Oh my gosh, no, this is so bad. This is probably like a million dollar car that we're just driving down a mountainside, upside down. Engine is starved of oil. Sorry, engine. I like how it gives us like, oh yeah, the, the rear right axle is, Little bit broken. Oh, lost a wheel. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, this hurts. Oh, what what is even gonna be left of this thing by the time we get to the bottom of the mountain? Oh gosh. Okay, there goes my cool pointy nose. That just broke off. Um, yeah, we have one wheel at this point. Can we lose all the wheels? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that one wheel's really hanging on with everything it's got. I. The, the car is still, it still goes. I mean, it doesn't have any wheels to go on, but it does go. But not only are there tons of cars, there's tons of maps that you can play around with. I downloaded one, it's called Insane Testing. So I expect we're gonna do some insane testing. Welcome to Insane Testing. As you can see, there's a, there's a ramp right in front of me. You know what? I don't wanna drive this blue truck. I wanna drive a supercar. Shall we try out the Lamborghini? Aventador. Let's try it. Oh my goodness. It's do I do I not have Wheels like are there no tires on my wheels? Where are my tires game? Hello? Maybe if I Maybe if I reset you didn't give me any tires. I'm just driving on rims. How dare you game? 
How dare you? What? Okay, so for whatever reason, Lamborghinis don't come with wheels, which is kind of disappointing because it makes them incredibly difficult to drive. But we can drive off the side of this thing with no wheels and watch what happens to our Lamborghini. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh. We're just, is that just spikes? Oh, oh, okay. It, somehow the Lamborghini is, the engine is still running and we're underwater. How is that? How, how, how? I do want to land right on top of those spikes though. Let's try again. Like that? Is that good? Oh, I think that's a winner. Oh gosh. Oh no. Oh, it's all twisted up. Probably don't want to do that to a Lamborghini or any car, honestly. I guess we'll try a different vehicle since this one just refuses to have wheels. How about a Ferrari? Those are real fast and real expensive. This can go 100 kilometers per hour in less than three seconds. Yeah, that's pretty fast. Oh my goodness. It has wheels and tires. It's incredible. It sounds like a rocket ship. Do you hear this rumble? What kind of engine does this thing have? I'm kind of scared, but I do want to go off of this ramp. So that is precisely what I'm going to do. Goodness gracious, this thing sounds angry. All right, here we go. Let's go off of a ramp. <laughs> oh my gosh. Which is, I mean, it is kind of a rocket right now. It's just one of those rockets that, that never makes it to space. Oh, we, just, we landed right in the water. Nice, gentle landing. What is that in the side of the car? I think that might be a piece of the car just sticking out of the, the side of it. I don't know how it ended up there, but we're now hydro locked. Darn. Okay, but we've spent enough time in this specific area. There's there's plenty more to see on this island. I mean, you can see like there's these massive monuments. I don't know. But let's go to the top of this crazy mountain and see what's up here. I guess you kind of never really know. Wait, do I hear like a, a waterfall? Is there a waterfall over here? Oh, there is. We could go down a waterfall in a Ferrari. Do Ferraris float? This is an important question that we need to find the answer to. So here we go. <laughs> oh gosh. Hey, they kind of float. Sort of. Not really. What is that? Is there just like a pit of doom down there? How do I get out of this? I can reset my car. Oh, oh, wait. Can we get out? Come on. Come on, game. Let me out of the, the river. Come on. Here we go. Come on, get out of there. Get out of there. I can't get out. My my engine is getting flooded, but I'm so close. Come on. No, no, we did it. We did it. We survived. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, what? I'm, I'm, I'm accelerating. Oh, die. Okay. It's, it's just, it's just like a little lake. It's just a little lake. I thought it was something much more dramatic. We're back, and this Ferrari scares me, so I'm gonna change cars. What do you guys think of the Tesla Cybertruck? I kind of hate this thing. It's just so weird looking. It's definitely a unique looking vehicle. Let's drive one. Oh my goodness. I feel like I'm playing a video game from the Super Nintendo. What is this? Is this F-Zero? Am I playing F-Zero right now? Let's drive a Cybertruck down some stairs. Oh my goodness. These are much bigger than I was kind of expecting. Okay, yep. Hey, Cybertruck, doing doing some work. It's it's hanging in there. Kinda, okay. I didn't need that wheel. It was, uh, you know what? Four wheels are overrated. That's, that's why they give you an extra one, because you really only need three. Okay, two wheels might be kind of hard to get around now. I, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Oh, we're back. Oh, I'm inside of something though, and I can't move. There, there, okay, we're free? Yes! Cybertruck has survived. What is this noise? That's a weird noise. It's, it's kind of creepy. Why are you making that noise, Cybertruck? That was fine. I just did a kickflip in the Cybertruck. I meant to do that. Oh my goodness. It's a giant half pipe. That is truly glorious. We're going to take a Cybertruck down a massive half pipe. Also, the Cybertruck is fast, man. It's going real fast. Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> here we go. You gotta air out. Okay, this seems kind of bad for the long-term health of my Cybertruck. Right, you know what? 
I didn't need that third wheel, like I said. Three wheels is totally fine. Totally fine. Great. Good. How you doing, Cybertruck? Seems like you're doing fantastic, honestly. Never had a better day in your life. Let's see if we can hit this ramp. It's impossible to control this thing. <laughs> yeah, a little hard. Okay, you know what? Recover. I love that we can restore our vehicles on the fly. That is a beautiful thing. Let's go off this ramp. What is this stuff over here? It's just stuff to crash into? That seems kind of cool too. My engine is restarting. Why? What did I do? I just crashed into a wall. It's not like, it's not that big of a deal. All right, here we go. Off the ramps. Oh gosh. Okay. I nailed it and landed perfectly on my wheels. Just like that. All right, enough with you, cyber truck. Let's get some more crazy supercars going. Oh, I have another Lamborghini. Let's see if this one spawns with wheels. Would you look at that? A proper vehicle that we can actually drive. Oh, oh, sounds like it's screaming. Let's crash this thing into something. There was like a bunch of spikes over here. That seems cool. Gosh. Impact detected. Stopping car. Impact? What impact? So I've just discovered slow motion in this game. That could be very, very cool. How slow can we go? Two times slower than real time. Four times slower than real time. Eight times slower than real time. 16 times slower than real time. Oh my goodness. 100 times slower than real time. How do I get back to normal speed? Oh, there we go. Oh gosh! I forgot I was going really fast. Let's do a sick jump in slow motion. I'm going to the very top of this hill and nobody's gonna stop me. Ah! No! Stop! 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 <laughs> We didn't stop in time. Oh, so my $250,000 car looks like a used tuna can now. Oops. Okay, we're gonna try this again, but I'm gonna slow down before I get to the top of this hill because Lamborghinis are so fast, it turns hills into jumps. That's something to be mindful of for sure. So here's what we can do though. We can set our home point right there. Okay, so now we can respawn at the top of this hill just like that. Beautiful. <laughs> oh, you see what we're aiming for. And then remember, I gotta toggle the uh, slow motion, which is actually way harder than it seems because I have to uh, I have to use my keyboard to do that. And I have to let go of my controller because I'm using the controller to control the car, but I gotta use my keyboard to control the slow motion. That is just beautiful. That is, that is truly majestic. Four wheels, boom, on the ground. Oh, my tires have deflated. Ouch. Ouch. It's very, very destructive. Slow motion. That's pretty cool. What is an RTR Python Extreme? What what even are you? Batman, is that you? Oh man. Okay, what I don't even know what this is that I'm looking at, but I'm going up it. Is that ice? Were we driving on ice? Okay. I mean, not that it really mattered, because now our car is just completely dead and stuck to the bridge. I like that thing. I like the look of that. You know when you go off a jump like that, it's not gonna be a happy ending, no matter what. And I like the sound of that. Oh, slow down, slow down. He's too fast. Gosh. All right, weird backwards jump, bring it on. Oh no. <laughs> Let's slow down time, shall we? How about four times slower? Perfect landing. This is gonna be just the ideal landing for, for that situation. Just perfectly upside down. Oh no, it's completely flat on the top. That's, yeah, that, that's kind of what I expected. Does it still go? That is the great question. Oh my goodness, it still goes. Let's go back to real time. How well does it go? I mean, it still is moving pretty fast. It veers to the left a little bit, like I'm not touching the control stick right now, and it's just kind of going to the left. Now it's, now it's dead. It's dead. Well, I'd call that a success. Hopefully you do too. 